Good morning, uh, Secretary Vilsack. My name is Claudia Host, and I am a volunteer with AARP. Uh, sir, what steps do we need to take to address the problem of food insecurity in our senior rural population? For example, um, the Older Americans Act has been unauthorized for three years now. Um, has the administration been working with Congress to reauthorize it and to provide stability to our seniors in their need for um, nutrition assistance? Well, we, we have been working to reauthorize uh, that important piece of legislation, as is the case with a number of other important pieces of legislation, and hopefully we get that job done. In the meantime, we have been working with ARP to get the message out to seniors about the availability of, of SNAP. 83% uh, of eligible folks for SNAP are currently participating in the program, but unfortunately, only about 40% of seniors who are eligible are participating. And part of it has to do with the fact that they're not aware of the program, and in some cases, the uh, application process can be confusing and difficult, and the recertification process uh, can be uh, very burdensome. So we're looking for ways to simplify the application and to maybe lengthen the amount of time for recertification because the senior's economic situation is not likely to change. If they're mm -hmm. living on a very small Social Security check, that's probably what they're going to be living on a year from now, mm -hmm. two years from now, mm -hmm. five years from now. Uh, so their economic circumstances, unlike a younger person, may not change uh, dramatically. So we have an aggressive effort uh, to, to do better outreach, uh, to simplify the process, to make it a little bit easier. Uh, and I think with that effort, uh, we will we'll, we'll see, I think, improved participation. We're also trying to make sure that seniors have the same opportunities that the rest of us have to participate in farmers markets, to have that community experience. Uh, certainly here in Des Moines, they have a wonderful farmers market. Mm -hmm. that's a, it's a wonderful experience on Saturday morning. So we want seniors to be able to participate in that, so we have made it easier to use SNAP at uh, farmers markets. Uh, 6,200 uh, farmers markets now across the nation can take a SNAP card. And we also have the Senior Farmers Market Promotion Program that provides additional incentives for seniors to purchase fruits and vegetables. Here's why this is important, not just for seniors. And it goes back to this message of all the things we do. Uh, it's not just siloed for seniors. The reality is if we can make sure that seniors get proper nutrition, they're going to have fewer health care issues. If they have fewer health care issues, overall health care costs are going to be less. And mm -hmm. if overall health care costs are going to be less, then insurance premiums for the rest of us are also going to be lower. Mm -hmm. So it benefits all of us to make sure our seniors have access uh, to good, proper nutrition. 